interesting battle from the beginning. We go back to round three, where Arce showed his power and his hand speed and his combination punching against Michael Carbajal. We saw signs earlier of how that would be a problem for Carbajal. Then in round six, here's Carbajal using the counter right hand effectively. And that was the one that sent Arce down in that round. He was able to get up, however, and get back to dominating the action. And here in the eighth round, you see graphic example of how the power and hand speed of Arce was just too much for Michael Carbajal right here at the end of the round. And you can feel the confidence of Arce building. It has built toward the final rounds. We're into the 11th now, and they continue to work on Carbajal furiously in his corner. He's got problems with both eyes. He certainly doesn't have any problem with his heart. Very good job of stemming the flow of blood. We're inside a minute and a half left in round 11. Oh, oh, nice, oh, right nice right hand right back. Carvajal. Carvajal is on top of him. A big fight. At 125 of the 10th, 11th round. And Arce's in big trouble. Arce is out. The fight has been stopped. Wow. A big upset from Michael Carvajal, who hung in and waited for his opportunity. And when he found it, he landed a huge punch. You can feel it all the way across the ring. And Arce was out of his feet, and he was not coming back. Okay, folks, I'm doing it again. Do it again. Weaver with a good left to the body. Lead by my tape. I think he really did a whole lot of damage. It got the crowd pretty excited. But that overhand right right there hurt him. Pate really cutting loose. Pate gets him with a right and a left and a left to the body. And finishes it with a flurry at the end of round three. With a 25-pound head. Again. Win back because he wants more. Wants oh, good right hand by Tate. John won't let him off. Stuns him with the right hand. Again with the right hand. Overhand right on the jaw by Tate. Wicked left hook by Weaver. Tate goes back into the rope. Tate may be hurt. Weaver hits him with the right hand. Weaver's trying to get him. It was a hard left hook that rattled Tate back into the rope. And all of a sudden, Mike Weaver finally got the big punch he was looking for. They're going to take a point away this time for the low blow. Let's bring that trophy home, Mike. You gotta go to work. Don't worry about that. Mama's out there watching, Mike. Let's go to work. Well, I'm sure the spirit's willing, but I'm not sure the body has a whole lot left in it. We'll see. And so far, I haven't exactly seen where. There's a overhand right high on the side of Tate's head by Weaver. I guess Mike Snow's bleeding a little bit. Maybe what it is. And Tate is down. Go! He is just beginning to move. The fight is over. Weaver has knocked him out in the 15th round. With less than a minute to go in the 15th round, Weaver knocked him cold. Incredible. Mike. And he got tagged first in the middle of the round by a left and then back here in the corner bang to the body there's the left hook it hit him right on the button and he went right down on his face and he went out he really didn't move until he was counted out at 2 15 of the 15th round well how do you do ticket as he was a year ago and already Vladimir Klitschko shows that he has been trying to learn how to hold an opponent when the opponent tries to attack him. I don't think he'll get a chance to like this. 
Klitschko gets the jab and the left hook going and rocks Brewster back. Yeah, he won't get a chance to let a punch fight outside. There's no way he can win this fight from outside. This becomes target practice at that range. I think he's throwing those soft shots to the body to try to get, bring Klitschko's guard down so he can shoot a right hand over the top. I think he's trying to set a trap. Good left hook by Klitschko, faking the jab again and throwing the left hook. One more time he does it. Now the straight right hand, and another straight right hand lands flush. Not showing any sign of being gunshot. He's very comfortable right here in front of Booster. He's not running from the punch. That's a good shot. Big left hook on the face, and he was hurt. Booster got to Vladimir's weak chin. Yeah, his legs are hurt very bad. Now, now you may see some panicking. That's your way of saying you scored the round for Vladimir. Right hand by Klitschko. Tried to get in an uppercut, threw it from too far away. Good right hand. Good chopping right hand. Oh, over. down goes Booster. Left hook. Not going to be ruled a knockdown because Bird is oh. going to say that Vladimir simply threw him down. But Brewster's wobbly on his legs. That was a knockdown. I, I agree with you. Straight right hand by Vladimir Klitschko. There's another one. And here comes a knockdown. There's another one. I tell you, he will wear down from all those punches sooner or later. Five, six, seven, Can't continuously get eight, hit by a big eight, man like that. There's a lot of time left in this round, and Brewster has no legs. Go. Another right hand shot. Oh, that's, that, that's going to do it sooner or later. So hopefully somebody will step in. Nobody can take this. Nah, he's not going to continue to take this. This goes dead tight. That's his cut. This goes out. Oh, that's a huge left hook. And Vladimir's in trouble now. We've got a short fest going, and Vladimir Klitsch goes. Let's get it to And Robert Byrne. Is that a standing eight count? Yes, yeah, Chris Gore is dead. He said no, it was not a standing eight count. He ruled that because he went into the ropes as hard as he did it. It was a knockdown. Now, Chris Gore is dead tired. He doesn't even want it anymore. He's done. He will not make it out of his ground. Let's go. German trainer Fritz Adunik said that if Vladimir got knocked out by Lehman Brewster, he should quit boxing. Well, he better quit there because he's already going out of here. He can't come back. He has no punch of power. His legs are gone. He does not know how to fight like this. This is one of his big things. He can't fight this type of fight. This is not what he's going to do. And is he going to call that a knockdown? It should be. No, it's a, not a knockdown. It happened after the bell. And now Robert Burt stops the fight. Robert Burt takes a look at Vladimir Klitschko and decides he can't continue and stops the fight. But you can't fight in this weight class unless you have at least a good chin. Vladimir's chin makes Lennox Lewis look like granite. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see that. It's not so much of his chin as it is his heart, though. He's like a dog that can't fight from the bottom. This is a guy who won an Olympic super heavyweight gold medal, who was as good as any amateur boxer in the world, who rose rapidly in the pros. Did he succeed too much too soon to have heart? Nope, he did not. He just never had it. It's just that he was so big, you never got a chance to see him fight from the downside. Do you think his older brother Vitaly has a markedly different personality? He has to not to uphold the family image or else he'll be disgraced. Kevin Kelly having some rough moments here early. Rivera's height is a little bit of a distraction zone. He pointed out that Jesus Paul uh, was one of the tall fighters that he fought. Oh my, there goes Kevin Kelly. He walked right into that right hand that has been bothering him. But Ricardo Rivera is giving him problems. And Rivera goes right back to it. He fought Kelly flush. Kelly's been loading up and trying to throw bombs, and now Rivera is loading up with him. Kelly took a fearful beating at the end of the month. Some big shots. Rivera has a surprise waiting. Down you go. And getting a right hand and yet another. Another big shot. That may have hurt Kelly. Right hand, 
Kelly already bleeding and already in a huge struggle. Right hand, and there goes Kevin Kelly. That will not be called a knockdown, but he did get whacked with the right hand there. This down three times in winning in 12 against him, and we've seen it tonight. He's got power in his right hand. He hurt Kelly again. He hurt him with the right hand, and now Kelly backs up against the rope. Deep trouble for Kevin Kelly. He's looking over the corner again. He may not stay with this. May not stay with it. There could be a standing eight count given. His nose is broke. Kevin Kelly's nose is busted up. And this is a tough call for him. I'm not sure it's wise for him to continue. Getting the kind of a slow round he wants here, then turning it out when he wants to. Rivera in deep trouble here. Good left hand. Kelly has him hurt. Kevin Kelly has him. Rivera hurt. If he knocks out Ricardo Rivera, I've been doing this series for 15 years. This will be the most dramatic comeback within a fight I have ever seen. And then I'm going now, Rivera, with the lead, but Kelly there. They both land big shots. To pour it on. A big hook by Kevin Kelly. What does he have left? He nails Rivera with a shot. A right hook and a lift by Kelly. Come back for round nine. You won't forgive yourself if you don't. It's a movie saga. It is a big hook left hook. He pushes Rivera down. I think that's straight. So the big straight left, it's there. And Rivera being tired, the effect is maximized. Now Kelly lands another one. He's turning Rivera down here. A little bit of pushing as well. And Rivera tired, also hurt by that shot. Rivera actually got up at nine and a half, but the referee looked in his eyes and said no. Well, it doesn't appear that uh, Ward is into his fight-winning mode yet, Roy. I don't think he's going to get into it in this at this rate. This is a survival mode. I'm saying because we shouldn't be forced to watch this. Yeah, talk about torture. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sanchez is going about his work the best that he can. He's trying his best to catch Mickey Ward. He's not a fast-paced fighter. He doesn't have the best footwork. He's trying everything he can. A canceled fight with... Uh, Chavez, Chavez would have been going to the body for the first three or four rounds almost exclusively. Double right hand by Sanchez, then a triple left hook. Put him up, put him up. Chavez is watching. He might be wondering why in the world he backed out of a fight with Mickey Ward because of an injury. <laughs> could have beaten him with one hand. There's a body shot, Larry. Yep. And the left hook lands up top for Mickey Ward. Now he goes back to the southpaw stance. And Sanchez says, oh, come on. Just give me your body. Just give it up to me. Okay. Harold Letterman's scorecard. Okay, 40 to 36, four rounds to nothing. Pancho Sanchez, what can you say? He's doing all the fighting. How about taking any points away from, from Ward? Larry, Larry, unless the referee does, you can't. I mean, it's not the judge's place in this particular instance, and Pancho Sanchez is not winning it so decisively as to call it a 10-8 round. Ward occasionally flexing his arms, goes down on an uppercut. Sanchez is trying to jump on Ward, but he just can't catch him. The guy moves to him. There goes a good shot. Ward is hurt again. Yeah, Roy, what happened? You see, he threw a, a roundhouse right and got a left in return from Sanchez. I think he brought his right foot up with this right. Let me see. Yeah, he brought his right foot up right here as to switch to the uh, to the southpaw stance, and he got caught right in the middle of that switch, but he got caught with an uppercut. About the first rounds, the first five rounds of this 10-round fight. Sanchez was, getting in a left hand to the body. A very good body shot by Sanchez. The referee should just go ahead and stop this fight. He knows that Mickey doesn't want to be here. I wouldn't even make the crowd continue to watch Throw this. Throw something back, Nick. Throw something back. Ward, Ward. 
was urging him on as if to say, please, please put me out of my misery. This is really one of the, the saddest kinds of fights in boxing. It's uh, Mickey Ward is 31 years old. He's here because he needs the money. He's taken a beating. He's getting humiliated. It's a part of the game that is not ennobling or uplifting. Yeah, and my point is that he doesn't really have to sit here and take this beating. He can do something about it. If you wish to call it that, in the fight. Now he goes back to the southpaw stance and fires a left-hand lead out of it. It only accounts for one-sixth of the card. You got a point there, but I, someone should pay me to watch this. That was a good body shot by Ward. Someone it is hurt paying the guy. to watch this. <laughs> That I'm was a good about, body shot by Ward. Maybe it'll turn him around. Maybe. I'm talking, I'm talking about if I were... Uh, uh, oh, see? That's Unbelievable. All Unbelievable. And he won't make it back. What am I he looking at here? Make it back. Yes, it is. He will not it was make a, it back. It was you a are kidney. looking at the most unlikely no. knockout Ten. you have ever seen. That was a kidney shot. The kind of kidney shot that Patterson gave to young Gaddy a few months ago. I still don't believe what I just saw. This is one of the most extraordinary things I've ever seen in boxing. And Mickey just, <laughs> just I, I, I tell you, you can't make it up, folks. You know what Mickey <laughs> just looked over here and said? He said, you can't give up in this game. Well, I guess he didn't give up. No, he didn't. Isn't that what they call a Mexican liver shot? That's what it is. Well, it may, maybe Mickey Ward heard me say you should stop this fight, and he went out and stopped it. <laughs> Amazing. 30th win in the career of Mickey Ward out of Lowell, Mass.